Uh, Richard Fleishman played the character of Craig Harris for four years on the cobbles of Coronation Street before successfully making the transition from screen to stage starring in a string of hit musicals. Well, he's back trailing the boards in a new award-winning show which centres around a city of the future plagued with drought. He joins us now to tell us about the musical which has a rather intriguing title. <laughs> uh, we're, morning Richard. Good morning. I'm going to let you say the name because I can't possibly say that word you can't on say, television. It's, well it's called you're in town. <gasps> Not as in you are in town but as in you're in. As in why is it called that? Um, well, it's called that because kind of the central conceit of the show is, is slightly bizarre. And um, it's in, as you say, in like a futuristic world where um, people have to pay in order to pee, as, as the song goes. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so, yeah, that, that's kind of the central conceit. And obviously it's very, very bizarre. But what's great about it is because it's quite dark, twisted, off the wall musical. It's not really what you expect and it kind of stands outside itself. And even though it takes itself very seriously, it's very funny. So, yes. um, yeah. Right. Shall we take a look at some Please. of this? Let's have a look at your rehearsing. Okay, dope. Here we go. Ride freedom, ride. Friends, you have to ride. There you go. Now, I hadn't realised that, that um, it was, it's as new to me, although it's been successful in America. In fact, first yeah. about, what, about 12 years ago? I think it was 2001, I think. But yeah. it's never been played here? In never Britain. been done How here. How did that happen? Do you know? I don't know. I think uh, I spoke with the producers and they said they were kind of looking for the right people to bring it over. And obviously now we've got the incredible Jamie Lloyd, who's, who's the director. And he's, he's quite amazing, actually. He's so young and so successful. And um, just being in the room with him and sort of watching him work is great. And his vision for this is, is really special. So and I suppose, excited. I mean, it's a musical, but it's sort of got a dark theme, actually, hasn't it? A very dark theme. Yeah, this is definitely a musical for people who don't know if they like musicals. It's not, <laughs> things don't work out well. It's not happy. There's a lot of, you know, there's, there's singing, there's dancing, there's all the things you'd expect, but it's very much... The uh, humour as well. And very funny, yeah, but very sort of cutting and... and uh, dark comedy that goes with it so um it's been a, it's been an adventure for me i've never really done anything like this so it's it's great and we've got some amazing people in it we've got the incredible jenna russell you know tony nominee and jonathan slinger from the rsc and mm. simon paisley day just amazing See, actors. it's certainly it's a name that you won't forget in a hurry it is is it yeah but i can imagine them having sort of discussions in New York, wherever it started, you know, in the early days, because they played in high schools and all sorts. Yeah, of things. yeah. So you got to have a name. You got to have a good name. What's a good, strong name? And then whoever popped up with this—I mean, I just thought in America they'd have said <gasps> horrors. I know. I think that's kind of. Um, I think that's why they went for it because it's uh, it, it, it's such a bizarre concept, and obviously it features within the show as well that we we do sort of talk about the name and how ridiculous <laughs> it is. Um, but it's, it's good for people who've got no idea about it. It's obviously hard to overcome, but um, we're kind of embracing it because mm. uh, we're looking forward to people seeing mm. it. Um, and it's sort of about greed, isn't it? Isn't there somebody who's controlling all the places that yes. you might want to go to the loo? Is it's that about the <laughs> big conglomerate companies taking over the world and, and how, uh, how brilliant they are for everyone, but obviously not. And uh, yeah, that's it. it, it it's very political in a sort of very comedic way. Well, it's, it's very to the point. You know, in some railway stations, somebody you have to pay 30p. In Houston, I know. Yeah. I was there yesterday. I had to pay it's 30 pence. Yesterday. I almost wanted to ring the director and go, it started. <laughs> it's already <laughs> happening. I'm afraid it's been All quite around a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course, you're, you're no stranger to, to, to theatre and um, or, in fact, to, to Broadway either because you're in Ghost. Yes. They took you over there for that. Yeah, they did. I know. I kept on expecting a tap on the shoulder and go, we've made a terrible mistake. This is, uh, this is not going to work out. But yeah, they took me over to Broadway, which is amazing. Mm. So that's you know how... That's, that's quite a transfer, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I suppose it's, it, you know, you never really expect it when you start a show in... We started it in Manchester and then we, we moved down to London and did a year there and that was great. And then I got the phone call to say it was moving to, to New York and I was like, what does that mean? And then they said, yeah, we're going to take you and Casey Levy, who played the lead in that. As does well, that mean me. you had to change your accent or not? Well, we'd no. always done it in American, okay. thank goodness. But there is a big That'd difference be <laughs> between doing American to a load of Cockneys and doing American on Broadway to a load of Americans. So I, was, I started to get a bit nervous. From, but it was from, right. from Corrie to Broadway, eh? What I a know. journey. Oh, well, thank you. No, it's been, yeah. it's been nice. Oh, and you even sang at the Tonys, didn't you? We did. We sang at the Tonys. And I remember my finisher. Oh, God, I can't believe Look you. At that <laughs> Look oh, at no, that. Oh, no, what have you done? Um, so <laughs> I remember my finishing sort of place and all the, the, the dummy boards and rehearsals with like Hugh Jackman and Julie Andrews and all these incredible people were all there on the front row. And I just, I, I just didn't 
couldn't sleep for two days before it. But it was brilliant and I had an amazing time. Yeah. Um, take us back to Corrie, because that's a few years ago though now, isn't it? Is it is a few years ago, yeah. I left when I was about 17, so it's about six years ago. Mm. Yeah, and that's ago. an incredible job to have as a young actor, isn't it? Because you, you know, there's quite yeah. a lot of pressure. There's a load of pressure, but thankfully, uh, I'm so glad I was so young when I did it. Because if I was to go there now, I think I'd just be a nervous wreck. But when you're 13, you kind of just swan on and just like, yeah, yeah. I got this. And it was, it was a great time. I learned so much. I got to work with amazing actors and to work at that speed as well. You can't, you, you have to turn up, you have to know your stuff. It's, you've got to have stamina, which yeah. is great, stands you in great stead for doing musicals, Absolutely. which is eight shows a week, of course. Eight shows a week, yeah, six days a week. Is I'm, there a lot of... Because you, you're one of the lead characters, mm. I know you have to sing a lot. Do you have to do a lot of dancing as well? I have to do more dancing than I've ever done before, uh -huh. and it's uh, yeah. So this is this is definitely pushing my limits there. Yeah. But um, we've still got another two weeks. We don't open till a week on Saturday at the St James. So yeah, I'll just be getting in my practice till then. All right. Shall I say the name of the play? Good luck with it. Yes. yes. Go on, just give it one. Shall I say it? Do it <laughs> he doesn't want to say it. You're in town. <laughs> You're in town. The musical starts at the St James Theatre in London from February the 22nd until May the 3rd. Thanks You're for coming in town. to Thank you very much. You're in town. Yeah, go yeah, in town. Okay, we're all free now. It's past <laughs> nine o'clock. It's okay. All right. <laughs> watershed. You. Never mind. Uh, we'll be talking... Oh, watershed. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> we're speaking to comedians Rhys Thomas and Simon Day in a moment about their new show, Life of Rock, with Brian Perham. Yes. First, though, here's a, a last quick look at what is happening where you are. I've seen a couple of minutes.